Last year, the red meat industry voted to maintain the $5 cattle levy. One of the deciding factors for many was the need to fund efforts defending Australia's position in the lucrative Asian markets, especially in the face of renewed competition from the US post-BSE. So how's that working? Tony Crowley talked to MLA's Glenn Feast about what's happening in one of our most valuable export markets, Japan. Wine, women and song. It's an age-old recipe but a new tactic for MLA in Japan. The guests at this top hotel in Tokyo are 300 of Japan's leading chefs and they're learning all about Aussie beef as members of a newly formed club designed to promote our red meat and they're loving it. Well, it was amazing actually because uh, up until now we've had to pay opinion leavers to, to speak on our behalf. These guys now are lining up and saying, you know, I'll speak, I'll, uh, put me on the media, put me on the camera, I'll, I'll, I'll tell how good Australian beef is. And this is terrific. The Chef's Club is a chance to showcase our red meat to the most influential people in the food business. And in a nation where you don't have to label food's country of origin on the menu, it's a valuable way of flying the Australian flag. Selected club members have also toured Australia to learn more. For Glenn, it's a great example of using what's become a modern phenomenon. You know, the first social media was word of mouth. And these chefs' uh, clubs, it's all about word of mouth. So we get 300 chefs in a room, they go back to work, they talk to 10 other chefs in their restaurants, and before you know it, everybody knows us. But this being Japan, they're about as tech-savvy as you can get, so you can't ignore more modern forms of communication. And when it comes to cyberspace, MLA is boldly going where few of their previous marketing campaigns have gone before onto Facebook and Twitter. All these measures, combined with continuous efforts in the retail sector, are building on decades of work to build awareness. Japan is, after all, our most valuable foreign market, the destination of over 350,000 tonnes of grass and grain-fed beef. That's more than 40% of our total exports, worth over $1.8 billion last year. And we have a high profile with consumers there. Our logo, the country of origin logo that's been used for over 20 years now in Japan, is rec recognised by over 95% of the population. Uh, you, talk about, you talk to Japanese about the Aussie logo, Aussie beef. They actually think it's a brand more than the country of origin logo, and, and they recognise this fact. They also recognise that we're clean and safe. So we, we tick all the boxes in terms of the Japanese consumer. But it's not just beef that's getting all the attention. We also export nearly 8,500 tonnes of lamb, mainly for barbecue-style restaurants. And MLA's also encouraging five-star establishments to use high-quality cuts. We do that for image. We do a lot of promotions with these guys to really lift our image of lamb as, as a great, you know, great meat to eat. With beef, the focus is on overall demand. Last year, we accounted for 76% of the import market. The US had just 14%. But beef consumption per head is still way down, about a third lower, on pre-BSE levels. While our main challenge is to get the Japanese eating more beef again, the US is eager to fill that extra potential demand. Oh, they're a very big competitor of ours. They always have been in the past, pre-BSE, and they always will be in the future. Their ability to supply single cuts in large volumes gives them an advantage with commercial buyers who prefer the ease of not having to buy full sets. Australia struggled with that in the past. We're getting better at it and, and we're getting a lot better at it, I've got to tell you. But uh, we've still got a long way to do to catch up with them. And that's not the only area where the US might gain an edge. They're likely to apply a lot of pressure to resolve trading terms. But MLA is determined to help secure a free trade agreement for Australia. My number one ambition in that market is to get a successful FTA, because that's the other part of our job. You know, we're 80% we're, we're marketing, but we're 20% market access, and we have a struggling uh, a really hard with our FTA negotiations, and I'm determined that, that we'll get there. In fact, the whole of MLA is determined that we'll get there. No mistake, MLA is turning up the heat on all sides in the Japanese market. <laughs>